Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Mob Blood Podcast with me, William Thompson, and Borat. Are you just a man? Yes. <laughs> you do. You do that voice. You do look like Hezbollah. <laughs> you, that's the impression. <laughs> season. <laughs> season. <laughs> Don't do that, season. I tell my season. Follow him on every like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. He's always on my. He just cheers me up. He has a wee pet monkey called Simon. Simon. Yeah. So who's Susan? Is that Susan the cat? No, he doesn't actually say it's Susan. He says something in a Ukraine. Oh, right. But it sounds like Susan. So it's Susan. Fuck so off, Susan. It's like, yeehaw, only yeah. in Ukraine. Yeah. So it's like, Susan. Yeah. Yeehaw in Ukraine. It's something like that. Yeah. That's so nice, Susan. Hey, Susan, Stella. Susan. Susan. <laughs> Do you remember he first started getting big and you were daily getting people asking you if it was your kid? Yeah, non stop. <laughs> it was like fucking, it stopped, thank God. Yeah. Paddy Barnes seems to get it now, but it was, um, it was like it was crazy. I saw Paddy was in the news, but I can't remember what it was for. They were, they were given off because Paddy wouldn't promote. So they basically asked him to tell people on social media to. Go and get the facts, facts nation. Yeah. And Paddy was like, no. Yeah. And then they came out with the things saying they were disappointed with this anti faxer agenda. And Paddy basically came out and said, I'm not an anti faxer. I'm just not going to promote something that I don't know what the long term effects is going to be. Uh-huh. He says, it's not my job as a sports personality or a fucking celebrity or whatever. I agree with him there, yeah. To promote something that I'm not fully aware of. Yeah. I think it's a choice. No, so, I agree. I, like, I, and I am vaxxed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think... It, I hate this idea of, oh, could you promote this idea? No. Yeah. Oh, then you're against me. No, I just don't want... Leave me alone. Yeah. No. Why do I have to drag... Why do we need to know everyone's position on everything? Oh, it's just... Do you know what I mean? like to be fucking annoyed with people. They do. They I, have to have... I like, went and got the vaccination because I just fucking got it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, it's like people going, I'm not getting that fucking vaccination. God knows what it does, do you? And then yeah. some of the people that I see that say, yeah, on Facebook, you know, I know that they've took fucking gear, like. Yeah. You know, and they've took gear that was probably shipped over in somebody's arsehole. Yeah. And was made with fucking all sorts of smelly chemicals. Maybe they did that with the vaccine. Some back street ones were stuck yeah, up someone's hole. But you know, it's that's the kind of people. It's people that like to get annoyed, I think, too. Yeah. If you don't want to get the vaccine sound, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. It's Look, it's like anything in life. It, it, there's a lot of people here who are fucking just, do you know what? Let's just get on my life. And then there's people here going, nah, fuck that. Because like, I get sent loads of messages this week and I don't know why it's came about. And it was like, are you fucking in the Ra? Are you a fucking United Irelander? Are you just asking all these fucking questions? And it's as if they want you to fucking slip, slip up, up yeah, and say something wrong. So you're like, no, I'm not in the Ra. There is no fucking Ra. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, I'm not a fucking United Ireland. Do you think there'll be a United Ireland? Probably something. Why do you think it? Because... Economy ways, I think Ireland is one country will probably come about. But that's my thoughts. Yeah, I'm not in a. You're, you're not a diehard believer. I am not it. stand at City Hall enforcing it. Yeah, or asking it to enforce it. The same way as we've had this conversation, my Irishness doesn't affect your Britishness, no. and your Britishness doesn't affect my Irishness. No. So we don't force it upon each other. No, we jo- you will know, joke. We, but we don't actually. But we're fucking comedians. Yeah. We mess each other about, which is what a lot of people do, they mess people about. Yeah. But we don't, you don't go to me, fuck you. Or, no, and don't I be caught in that garbage scene with you, yeah. you think you're boss. I, I have already spoke about it, so for anybody that's <laughs> messaging me this week, because it's got me down a wee bit, because I have been in a bad mood or whatever, it was yeah. different things. But, listen here, I'm not in a group to fucking try and do this or do that. Let's just fucking get on the fucking life. I love I, Do you know what people send me messages? 
And I've probably had an argument over fucking what we're having for dinner in the house. And the fucking kids are running about fucking nuts. And in my head, I'm ready for pulling my hair out. Yeah. And some prick sends me a message and goes, I think you're this and I think you're that. And I'm like, I think if I fucking was in front of you right now, I'd hit you a boot in the bollocks, you fucking smelly I, bastard. I love Sorry, how we've had message. to take a segment out of the show so you can deny being in the rat. That's, <laughs> that's how that's mental. It's, do I give that vibe off? Like, that, that, nah. You give off the vibe you know people in the row, but you're not in it yourself. I think everybody knows people in the row than the government. Oh, we've all got a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's it's like he knows people in the yeah I do I've just had I also know people that was in the UDA I also know people that was in the UVF because I've seen them on TV and I've seen them getting out of fucking prison yeah Do you know what I mean It's fucking and I lived in West Belfast Was there people in the rather that lived in West Belfast Believe it or not there fucking was quite was a few. there Patrick There was quite a few of them That's surprising But I'm not Scabatici I'm not going to say yeah. their names <laughs> <laughs> I like my kneecaps I'll, I had just a week of people shouting or calling me Packy Dot over Instagram what the co- because dot? of that because of that because of the wee cut in my forehead it sticks shit sticks I get yeah. grip dick all the time did you get it before you did it on the show or has not it as worse? much not as much it's a funny fucking name it, it's dick. unreal it's hilarious it's unreal don't get me wrong but I mean it's like people's favourite thing like I have people literally stop me in the street and go on that is my favourite thing. And they love shouting it. Yeah. And maybe shouldn't have done it because it took me so long to get rid of the neck. And it's now it's back, back in a big way. It's back know. once again with the Renegade You master. will at one at least once every show get heckled with the word grip, grip dick. dick. Sometimes I get heckled with it and it's not even me. It's, it's you. It's, it's crazy too. A few new colleagues. I started a new job, as you know. Yes. And... Um, with the row. Yeah, with the row. <laughs> <laughs> And um, they were they had their first experience of like people out in public, you know. And it's we went for something to eat as well. We went to Urban Fair up at uh, it's a new restaurant up in West Belfast. Lovely. What what kind of? They, they have like stone baked pizzas and barbecue stuff, and like, it's like a real nice menu. That's like it's not it's not the own uh, little Maxine Deli which does all you know the burritos and stuff like uh, that, and then they've opened this around the corner, and it was just um. Oh, I'll get some food after this. Uh, I know I haven't had dinner either, but I had like a tandoori chicken thing and it was gorgeous. Oh, like, that's yeah. Good. But the girl in it was like, I was trying to get you to open this place, and I was going, get me to open like, <laughs> serious? Scundered, like, and I was like, seriously? And she was like, yeah. She says I was starstruck, and my kids not fan of dead strange because I people coming up and people saying, you know, ah, you're such and does your wee lad hate it? Like, yeah, because no, you're that late age where your dad's a dickhead. The only time he liked it was when I turned up after Castle Derg at the McCallum fight mm-hmm. and I went into the crowd and like everybody was like, can I get a photograph? Can I get this? And there was these wee lads, maybe 18, 19, and they were sitting beside Podrick the whole boxing night and him and I came in and then they went, is that your dad? And he was like, that's my dad. And they were like, that's your dad? And they were like, add them on Instagram and all this here. So he was buzzing. I love it then. Because the, the boys were like, well, oh, big lads were like, can't believe that's your dad. And he's going, he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what he says. He's like, you're not even funny or something like that. I know. <laughs> most, it, it, do you know what? I was the same with my dad when I was, you know, that age. Do you know what I mean? It's just what you're like as a teenager. You're just like, fuck it. My wee sister's like that to my granny. Yeah. You I mean, it's just like, oh, fuck up. Yeah, I like, suppose your hormones and your brain still growing, isn't it? It's so your first time you're introduced to the concept too of like just your parents not being the end all be all. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You, you grow up, you you'd be like, they are the kids. They're fucking wrong all the time. Do you yeah. mean? Just being a teenager. Older, then, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's mental. So yeah, but literally, it's like we noticed. Like we're talking now about doing the mud blood tour. Yeah. And taking it because it, it has got. Mental. Yeah. Yeah. And people know, and, and the people constantly come up to me, and they don't, they come up and, I suppose it's probably like Peter Kay or somebody like that who had like a big bit. So we actually have people coming up. You're right? so humble. I'm a bit like Peter Kay. No, or no, like no, 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 no. I'm just saying, what, a, uh, the reason why I said Peter Kay is yeah. because I'm sure he gets shouted garlic bread to him. Yeah. I'm not saying just in chat people come up people would come up like I've spoken about before they didn't even know my name they were just calling me pod, podcast and fucking all different things right yeah. or you're your mom from the video 
people now come up and basically pick a clip or tell me a bit. Yeah. As if you're not... Like, somebody sent me a video of me doing stand-up today yeah. and went, what do you think of that? And I was like... It's my bit? What? That what? It's me in the video and they're like, I know, I know, but what? Like, isn't that... Isn't that fucking... And you're going, you want me to tell you that's fucking brilliant or something? I, it's fucking me, like. <laughs> it's, it's hard to watch when it's yourself. That's... I always get people... <coughs> Just, just the way the internet is, you always assume people are being nasty at first, don't you? When they send you something, you're like, what do you think suspicious. of that? You're like, yeah. the fuck's he trying you to say? You'd be a wee bit suspicious and then you're going, what's going on here? But, um, Kerry Katona followed me the other day. Fuck off, you're being followed by Kerry Katona? <laughs> fuck off, serious? Yeah. So, How'd that come about? Are we going to get Kerry Katona on this podcast? If she wants to do it. I'd get the Kerry Katona on. Do you like her? I like a Tom kitten. Oh, right, do you? Yeah, hole again's a tune. So, uh, you can get Make your me. hole again. Yeah, and she likes coke, so, like, I think we'd get on fine. <laughs> right, well, that's her now. Come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to Sorry, Kerry. Kerry. I'm a wrong, Kerry. I'm a wrong. <laughs> but it is, it's just strange. It's just strange when you see certain things that got, like, different people, yeah. like, following you, like, in the going, what's going on here, so. I had, like, a, U- a, a WWE wrestler, like, in the UK, like their UK division follow me. And I have a wrestler it. on there. I don't think he's... WWE? Yes. Uh-huh. But there's definitely a wrestler with a boot tech on my followers. I want to get... That's what... No, the way Joe Rogan has the UFC niche. Uh-huh. Right? That's what I want. I want that wrestling niche. I want to be a wrestling commentator on top of comedy. Do you know what I mean? He's... Get me on your shows, wrestling people. I'm sure there's somebody we can get you on, like. 100%. Oh, surely. I'm going to look into that. We will. Because I, I don't want to be a wrestler. I'd be a manager. Do you know what I mean? The guy Paul Burr. Like, almost talk about that. Paul Burr, yeah, yeah. We've done that, yeah. I'll need to give a shout-out, too. Just we may as well do a few shout-outs. We'll do all the shout-outs. Mark McCann is a wee man from, from Belfast here. He started playing football at a New York college there. He's on a scholarship. And uh, he basically played his first match and got injured. Right. So the poor fella is away. His girlfriend Fiona is absolutely missing him. Something shot. I thought you were gonna say his girlfriend's <laughs> fucking banging too. <laughs> <laughs> no, his girlfriend's missing him. Something shot, and she got appendicitis. So the fucking two of them have parted ways. Of you know they've been going out yeah. for years, like from they were fucking really young, and yeah. and this is the first time they've been apart. And that was when I told the story. I was like, Jesus Christ! It's oh. like. The West Belfast version of Romeo and Juliet. Only, yeah. You know, he's away over in New York, played his first match, get injured, and then she takes appendicitis. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's like broken heart. It's like a broken just, heart, man. Yeah. Your appendix just burst. <laughs> so, big shout out to him. And yes. Mark McCann and uh, Fiona. So, he sits and listens to our show. So, yeah. this, is, this, is the wee, this is the thing that we get. Wh- what I'm going with is people listen to Mudblood to feel at home. Yeah. And do you know what? To listen that, to scum. No, but that, that to me means we're doing something right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it means we're not getting away from what we are. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, so thanks for watching the show. Do you well, know how long do you have for, do you know? My head, if you're playing up or something I can say here, that. I'm rolling notes. 100 comments or 100 messages of people going, you were on the gear. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Look at, look at your eyes. Look at the way he's getting on. Yeah, yeah. I love how anytime you do anything, it's in the. You left your fly open for a bit last week, and fuck me. Oh, that's all anyone was talking about. That's maybe why Carrie could totally yeah. follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone saw the dagger that day. I only follow you this week if you think you're on the gear. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> that's your da- Daphne now coming on. A 30th birthday shout out for Nathan McCrory. Uh, your girlfriend Emma Ferguson just said she wanted us to do a wee shout out. Who was this? Uh, Nathan McCrory. Nathan McCoy, shout out Nathan, Nathan big man, what age is he, 30? 30. Happy birthday mate. 30, so I think you're old but you're still young in Paddy's eyes. It's only 11 years ago, I'm <laughs> a 30 year old man, do you know what I mean? So, what, five, I'm coming 25 next month, that's scary for me. Fuck off with him. What? That's old man, it's old. No it's not, You'll, no per- one's, do you know one's old? When you play a fucking match like we did on Sunday... Oh Jesus! And you fucking have had worse hangovers. That's not as bad as that. I thought on Sunday night I had COVID. I done a test. 
I, my body was fucking <laughs> aching. My head was pumping. Just so people know, all stand. he did was hurt his knee. And no, you I thought you got I COVID? Didn't, it didn't hurt my knee. I twisted my ankle, my knee, and my hamstring. Three parts of my leg. And that's what happens when you're 41, overweight, and still trying to play football. Yeah. Up until then, I thought I was doing okay. Yeah. Because people look at me and think, I can't. But people forget, I was doing 12-hour shifts in seats. Yeah. I have fitness to me. Yeah. I've just got a belly because I You have a belly, steroids. but you're muscly too. Do you know, like... Your mom was in the... I had your mom apart, apart from... I put her through his legs and he got me back and put her through my I legs. was just about to say that. But apart from that... I was going to get apart from, But that's because I genuinely can't close my legs yeah. quick enough now. So what this... <laughs> so what this was, was the Northern Ireland comedians had a warm-up game against an over-35s team Oxford, from Lurgan. Oxford, Sunnyside. Oxford, Sunnyside and Lurgan. And we got fucking hammered. We, I, we I, thought... I, because no, some of us no, would be decent fitness no, would be no, okay. I didn't, and I had the conversation. See a football team like that that's that has a wee bit of organisation. Yeah, we basically got together. I'd never played football with you, and I have to oh, say, yeah. Jen, and I mean this, and I'm no a fuck you about on here. Yeah, I was surprised how good you were, <laughs> and genuinely, me, you, and Shay, and Gary Pollock, yeah. and left back, we were doing a good job. Yeah. Now I said, don't play offside. Yeah. We were in their home pitch and yeah. there was no linesman. 100% but we were never getting an offside there. Yeah. So there was pointless playing it. Yeah. And top that I maybe didn't want to run the halfway line all the time. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Um, Shane scored. The only goal we scored was Shane's goal which was, was a goal. fucking banger from like. Shane, Shane's a decent footballer. He is a good footballer. He is. And do you know what? He's actually got better than what he was. Really? The tablets for me. Um, yeah. I've <laughs> tablets here, in the I've list. Here. I can take tablets without water. Oh, uh, no, you freak. Listen, the 90s... Are you going to crush him up and the, sniff him? <laughs> the, the 90s were a fucking unreal thing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What, the, it's like, people what go, party app where they have ecstasy but they don't have running water? Like, how can you take tablets without thinking? I was like, because in a nightclub they turn the water off. <laughs> so it's like... Can you get rid of a tablet without water? Yeah, of course can. That's why... Uh, it's harmful. That is... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, bright light, bright light. Oh, that just got me right in the, the eyes. gremlin. Yeah, I'm very hungover today, so I'm just like, hey. What was I talking about gremlins? Can you remember gremlins I was talking I've about? I've seen gremlins? the movie Gremlins, but were you talking about me? What was I talking about? You that? said... Yeah, you did a bit about me being a gremlin in Antrim. Was it an Antrim? It was an Antrim. It, wasn't it was here, about it was an Antrim. don't get them wet after saying Yeah, because you took me out to ah, the... That was good. a new bit you did. Yeah, yeah. Very funny, by the way. Was it good? Yeah, it was very funny. So you were playing centre-back? I was playing centre-back, yeah. Because I can't do midfield no more. Yeah. just can't do it. I was right, right back, back. Which I was never, I'd never, i never played that I was worried life. about him at the end because... I was so sore. You were. Yeah, I was. You were falling and all the way, but that's yeah. how I was Sunday night. Yeah, but that's the way... That's when people are like, what is your disability? Or it's like, they don't see, like, I will get... Ti- it's not that I can't do things. It's I get tired. But it must be a, a mental quicker. thing. What? Is it a man? Is it your brain gets tired no, and then shuts no, down? No, it's your body gets physically tired. Oh, so but that's what I mean. Is it your brain that's t- so no? It's yeah. your muscles because my muscles aren't fully right. Okay. Um, what's the word? Like the stretched back. out. Yeah. You know, you're in tight like that. Right. Okay. They can't and do is that, as much. Is that what it does to you? Yeah. Cerebral palsy. So the muscles are shriveled. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's not even as much as shriveled. It's just there's not much room for them to bend. Right, okay. Or really move. Uh, Do they go into spasms? There's spastic spasm? muscles. Do they go That's into the spasms? Words, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. When I'm really tired, if you notice, my arm will, and legs will start to spasm a bit. Right, okay. That's when I know I need to chill. But that's where the word spastic see, comes from, cerebral palsy. See if your, your arm goes into a spasm. Yeah. Do you ever, like, shut the door and have 15 minutes to yourself? <laughs> no, because it's not. You just, you just be like... <laughs> Literally slapping it, like do you know those games you used to get where there was a ball on a pad, and you'd be like, right. it would just be like just like that. Right? Do you know what I mean you can't come with that, do you? No. Just get, do you just do you literally slap your neck? Do you? <laughs> shout at it! I shout at it! It goes whoa! Wakes up! Like, what? What are you shouting at me for? <laughs> um, but we've organised the new game as well. Oh fuck! If you, if you want to play against game. your team, against my, you only need Sam. Um, do you yeah. know what? I put the boots in the bin. Oh, did you? Did I you was hang that them up? Sore, man. It, it's just it's not worth it yeah it was like a fucking day day hang I'm actually still limping oh I'm still limping myself and I'm in a new job so it wasn't even like I can't work for myself no more yeah. so I had to really <coughs> work. yeah so you're just fucked was there any funny stories from the match uh, anybody you know 
fond of an Ireland sniping challenge or me <laughs> well I slid in and fucking near killed myself yeah yeah you hurt yourself big time I uh, I just said what I thought was the funniest thing I've ever fucking said in my life when one of the Lurgan guys came over and we went um, <laughs> what's the score we can't count because we were generally like 12 down by that time so I went to him what's the score we have lost count and he goes I don't know I've ran out of fingers and I went oh for fuck's sake you haven't scored 17 <laughs> 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 Nothing. I was like, "Fuck you!" That was brilliant. <laughs> I also got Jordan when I came off at half time. Went, pretended I was injured, and I went, "Hey, bro, can you take a look at this for me?" And he looked down and I was having my balls out. <laughs> what did he say? He laughed. I've never seen Mickey Bartlett laugh so hard in my life. Right? Because he just turned around to see me do that and see my balls out, and he was like, "Ah!" <laughs> oh, Mickey, Mickey be up for the crack. Literally. I literally said to him, look at the fucking grey you are from the back, because you normally don't see Mickey in the daytime. Uh, and he said, look at the fuck you are from the front. <laughs> <laughs> and Mickey's humour was like, it's like, just, it, it would just go back and forth. It would be a table tennis match that just doesn't stop. Yeah, you know just I mean? slobber. So I just sort of went to the wall, leave it at that, because... <laughs> It'll keep going. Uh, That's, oh, I love it. Mickey can take a slag, and some people can't take Mickey's it. Mickey's up for the it. crack. That's yeah. why Mickey's great to go for a paint with. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's just crack. Yeah, he really is. Um, no, but we got fucking destroyed. We were terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Well, just we're playing the wrong type of football. We had no midfield. We've never played together. We had no, yes. We had the no formation was 4 zero seven. also, the only way you could beat a team like that is by one touch football. Yeah. And if you can't play it, you're not beating them. It's, yeah. And we so, were like not meeting the ball. And no. I love how this turned into match of the day here. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, Gary Lineker. One thing we've got requested though, just um, asking about the lads' holiday stories. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. That is coming up. Um, let's see, I had it in my way agenda here. Yeah, um, do you have any lads' holiday stories? I know you have your... Loads them. I'll, you do one, then. I have one about the guy who had just the worst fucking holiday. You do that one. Do you want me to do? It. Yeah. Jeez, I need to find you've, you've constantly, and then we never go on it. If I start into something, I get end up going into and something different. You start and then it goes away from it and then we go fuck we'll do lads holiday next week yeah do you know what I mean I need to find it because I have to write it down because so much happened to him <laughs> and I'd forgotten about it all but I I think people know genuinely about my one about my stag do yeah I think that they know they know that story so there's no point in getting into that there um, and talking about it but yeah. I, I mean there's been so many lads holidays like I told you about Going on a stag do did, we, did I speak about that the hurry triangle? Yes, you did. You did. Is that, is that being done? Yeah. Um, oh, there's so many. Like it's just the other thing I'm thinking too is not telling the stories because some of their ways not listen. That's amazing. I love that. Right. Well, there's this guy. We went on holiday. Right. We went to Magaluf because you know prawns go to Magaluf, Catholics go to Santa Ponza. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. Right. Right. So we all went, it was our first holiday, we'd never been together. We were friends all throughout school, let's group, it was about 18 lads. Uh huh. And we'd never been on holiday together, you know it's like when you're 18, everyone's just trying to outdo each other. Literally, I don't think the full group of people ever met up ever again, fully. That's, like, we all just fell out. Right. From constant fighting. There was one guy, just had the worst possible fucking holiday, I won't give his name, we'll call him Winnie the Pooh, Right. So first night in Magaluf, we didn't all go, some of us didn't all go too mad the first night. Because yep. we're here for 10 days, we're like fucking pissing Pace ourselves. It, right. He left at like 8 o'clock and was back in by like 12. Fucking nose, pissing blood. Right. Pissing blood, like all down him. And he was like fucking freaking out. Turns out he'd taken some dodgy MD. Right. Right. And the ones who he was out with were like, ah, he's fucked. And left him with us and we were like, fuck that. That's an anti factor. Um, no. No, no. He's, he's vaccinated. <laughs> he just likes MD. Right. <laughs> so this, the first night was spent like holding him on his side while he was like whitying. He was whitying. He was fucking pissing. There was blood coming out of his nose. We all waited for him to calm down. He relaxed. And as soon as he was better, he stood up and sniffed another line. And we were like, you fucking idiot, right? Then that was the first night. He was just spent it, wiped out. The second night, he went out and got wiped out again. Uh-huh. But this time, he lost his bank card. When he was wiped out. And all he'd left it in the hotel, but he thought he'd lost it. And of course, a bunch of fucking wiped out drunk people are all being really like, ah, you need to fucking, you need to cancel that. Get that cancelled. So no one's taking money out of your card. 
So he fucking cancels his card, forgetting that that's the only card he has. On his holiday. On his holiday. Day two of the holiday, right? right. So he cancelled the fucking card. We went down the next day. He'd forgotten he'd cancelled it. I remembered that he'd done it, and a yeah. few of us remembered that he'd done it, but we didn't tell him because we were like, fuck him, he was annoying us. So Winnie the Pooh goes up, puts his wee card in the machine, types in his number, eats his fucking card. So he has no money for the rest of this fucking holiday. Right. Right. So he had to then spend the rest of the holiday living off like 10 euro a day that we were like lending them or like, you know, someone would give him 30 euro Fuck you, good mates, weren't you? <laughs> I was just about There's to- 10 euro, you can't enjoy your fucking self. Well, we know it's 25 quid in the BCM. We're on a budget ourselves. Do you know, no uh, one's loaded. I was, gi- I give him like 30 euro a couple of nights to yeah. like go out and stuff. Of but course like, you fucking... did now after I said it. But like, I was literally about to say it before you cut me off, Patrick. <laughs> right? But we just kept giving them money and money, like 30 euro. It's just in the corner pizza. and you were just throwing the crust of your pizza at him. Eat <laughs> <laughs> it, <Egypt, laughs> boy. Right? Is this, isn't, that... this isn't painting you a good light here, William. No, I was help. I gave him money, right? Then one night we, we, we were walking down the strip all together and we lost him. Didn't know where he was. Turn around and there's about seven PR girls around him, like bully circling him, like yeah. pushing him on to one another, like grabbing his neck and grabbing his arse. Because he walked past one of the PR girls, slapped her in the arse, and she just immediately grabbed him. was like, Do you fucking like it? Do you like it? We had to go and like fight a crowd of PR girls who were like just fucking pinching his arse. And he was like, Leave me alone, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because he's only a wee man too, yeah. right? And then later that same night, I was walking home with him. And he got propositioned by a prosy. And he went down the alley. And I was like, do you know what? Knowing his luck in this holiday, I'll chill here. Because I can't see his night ending like this. Two minutes I waited there before he came running back. Shirtless. Don't know where his shirt had went. And he was like, the pimp's coming. The pimp's coming. This was his holiday over and over and over again. He had the worst fucking holiday. And then on the last night, I was like, right. I feel bad for you. I haven't got to go out. Here's 50 euro. I gave him myself. And he was like, thank you. He left with the first group of guys going out. I was still in the fucking hotel, just getting ready. By the time I was getting ready to go out, he came back in with a big smile on his face, sat down. I was like, you're not going out again? He goes, nah, nah, nah. Spent all the money. He'd been gone 15 minutes. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? That was your last day's money? He goes, I went to the strip club. Fantastic. And just sat like that. That was his holiday. Fuck sake. It's the worst fucking holidays <laughs> I've ever heard someone have. The highlight of it, one night we were like, oh, we're going to go see Avicii and we're going to go to this club, it's going to be amazing. He went, hey, Tropic Thunder's on the TV, I can't wait. <laughs> that was his whole holiday. The highlight of it, watching fucking Fuck Spanish man. Tropic Thunder. Do you still talk to him? Oh, yeah. Oh, Does yeah, he watch friend. this? Oh, So he know it? That's, he'll know it. He'll know who he is. We is he married now? No, no, no. No? It's only like, what, 23, 24? Is he going to be 25 soon? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he drive a blue car? No. Do you think it's me? <laughs> Do you think it's a- No, we've been over this. I don't like strippers. We've been over this. Do you not? It's weird. If I was allowed to like beat off, I'd get it. But you know what See, I mean? You can't pull the palms of yourself, the, so what's the point? I It's just a room for the horny man paying three hundred quid for a con of coke. Trying to like get the porn tunnels on and there's like you and four of your mates just sitting there like the boulder's going like, well, what am I doing? <laughs> He's going to the wrong strip club, boys. <laughs> That's everyone I've been in, you're just sitting there. Well, I remember or? the first time I ever went to the strip club was with Andrew's brother in America, because uh-huh. I'd never been to one then. Oh. And he says, come on, I'll take you to the strip club. So she knew I was going, and we went into it, and it was like the dodgiest, shittiest. It was like somebody opening... A shop and call it the spa in Donegal and it's fucking not a spa right do you get do you get where I'm going I feel like the, the spa is not a great right, example right well like in Turkey the fucking there was a guy had a shop and it was called cheaper than Primark right and it obviously wasn't Primark yeah right? it was just cheap right I get you so it was that you know like somebody opening a fucking Kentucky fried chicken but they call it chicken fried Kentucky you, and it's like it's not quite classy but still like red and white yes yeah yeah I got you right so I went to this strip club and it was like fucking grim right it right. was like even the, even the wee man doing the door was like 
a fucking 90 year old beggar <laughs> do you know what I mean that was like couldn't get up and all and you're going well there's not going to be anything decent in here because there's no money yeah do you know what I mean he's fucking dead old the strippers were fucking ranging from midgets till fucking big fat you saw stripper birds. midgets yeah oh I would love that right not for so, a second it's just so like, no like it's girls cool with one ditty bigger than the other and all do you know what I mean it was just that's not what a midget it was is. like <laughs> oh, no, this, I'm giving you the thing of it right it was called the thunderbird and we went in and this girl came over who was like really skinny and had no ditties whatsoever and she was like right doing all this and Andrew's brother and I was just sitting there going holy fuck and she was going and Paul turned around and, and fucking says to her honey fucking stop doing that I've got a wife in the house that has two ditties could drown a donkey get them fucking bees things out of me. and I fucking collapsed like but in the same sense I was like this is fucking terrible this is terrible like, two tits I could drown a donkey and, and it was fucking so we get back and here's Andrew what was the strip club and I was like it was fucking shit oh she knew you went yeah the Paul told her he was taking me do you know what I mean because uh-huh. she had said to him he's never been to strip club as fucking wee lad from fucking Belfast we didn't have strip clubs here yeah so we still was, don't yeah do you know what I mean so well and no we don't we don't <laughs> well we don't have a nice one that you can go into there's not a set one no you can hire is, a strip club there is nights in bars where this happens yes but there's no socially like, distanced, so it sort of defeats the purpose of having it, right? But uh, so that was my first experience of it, and then after that was like stag dues and weekends away. So we went to Glasgow, uh-huh. and I and Edinburgh, and you, the strip clubs in there. So I always told Andrew when I come back, I says, "Yeah, we were at strip clubs." I was, I didn't really like in Spain. I didn't fucking pay for anything. I just went in and had a dear beer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you're right. Now, the difference between Glasgow and Edinburgh and Scottish strip clubs is that they grind you compared right. to Liverpool. What do they do? They hover over you. That's uh, I don't enjoy that. You don't enjoy what? I don't want the hovering. If I'm paying you, I want that full Well, in Liverpool, they don't, or in England, they don't do that. Right. They just hover over you, so they're just basically... Are you allowed to touch them at all? It's like going in and telling an Indian and somebody just going like this with a curry. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, this is what you could have. Yeah. But yeah. you're still paying for it. Smell that corner then. It's, oh, look at that number. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's exactly what it's like. Whereas in Scotland, they don't give a fuck, so there's just grain and stuff. Uh-huh. So a lot of the boys didn't know this. So when they got to Scotland, they were like, this is fucking amazing. And I was like, I don't get any dances. And they were like... Oh, how are you not getting dances? And I was like, lads, you a fucking click on here. So, going to the lads weekend, come home, fucking, their missus, do you have anything to tell me? No. They're in work maybe Monday and Tuesday. Do you have anything to tell me? No, no, why? What's the matter? Well, you fucking need to come back to the house. And they go back to the house. The women in Scotland, they're white. But when they dance, they want to be tan. Yeah. So they put fake tan on. Yeah. And they grind your jeans. So, <laughs> it's like putting dye pack in the money in, in banks yeah so basically <laughs> the boys came home and their missus were washing their clothes from their bag on the fucking Monday and Tuesday and the fucking tan fucking was all here right and they're like do you want to explain that and they're like oh, fuck so then the next minute the phone calls go about and obviously all the women's phoning each other and going fucking bastards they're shit. so it turns out they were at a strip club and Andy was like I get told he told me so I was fucking lucky I did. Actually, would she have been raging if you had not told if her? If I hadn't said anything, Andrew would have went, you're a fly fucker, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I just told her because it was like, yeah. and I think Andrew's alright with it because she knows that you don't get the raid or anything. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but it, it, it's, is it wrong? Is it wrong? No, not really. Well, if you're in a relationship, if you're, I don't know. No, but I'm saying that a lot of women would say, that's fucking wrong. It's not really. Well, would you be alright with your with your wife going to like a male stripper? If I go to a strip club then she should be in That's what I mean, yeah. yeah. If, if you're both alright with it, then yeah. <laughs> but if you were to be like, I should be able to go to strippers but they can't? No, but I don't, I don't know. A, a lot of women would say like equality and stuff like that. And the way things are now. <laughs> and fuck that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. You know what but I think if a girl wants to make money off that, she can't. Yeah. Oh, I know she does. Yeah, they definitely can't. 
I know a wee girl, just, she's a like good looking girl on Instagram or whatever. She got paid 200 quid to go and kick a guy in the bollocks. So that's the kind was of... Was he called Winnie the Pooh? He was not called Winnie the Pooh and he <laughs> was he not me. He was not me. Because <laughs> you were getting your bollocks into Jordan Robinson the other day, so it sounds very similar. I, I didn't, go hit like me a, a, I didn't say like, hit me a fucking boot. <laughs> You're earth 200 quid. Hit Don't you come at bollocks. me for getting your genitals out? Mr. Dagger, Dick. Sorry, excuse me. When was the last time you seen my I haven't. I'm, I'm actually offended. I feel like have you seen it? No one of the right, well, then you can't comment. I'm, I'm offended that I haven't seen it. Everyone else gets to see it. Just the headliners. Just the headliners. <laughs> I thought you were going to say just the head. Just, <laughs> just, just the headliners I've got to see it. Oh, am I not a headliner? You've only, hold, you've only been told. You've only been told of this thing. You have never ever experienced I've never it. seen it. It could be a lie. It could be a, a work. 100%. Oh, is it no, really a dagger? Is Schrodinger's dick. I don't this is the know. whole thing. It's it's like it's like a phantom. It's like an urban myth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. That's what they'll ask me about. But like, oh, I can't possibly say. But have a wee wink in my eyes. Be like, oh, we know something. Yeah. Well, who who do you know that's seen it? I thought most of the comedians have told me. Like who? Mickey's definitely seen it. Has he said he's seen it? Yeah. He said he's seen it. Yeah. And anybody else? Gareth, I think, has seen it. Did he say he's seen it? I think so. See, you need to... You need Shane, to, Shane's seen you, it. Shane has said he's seen it. Shane's seen it, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not denying any of this. All I'm saying I'm is... Just, I'm just saying I'm annoyed I have It's like, well, it's one of them things that it's Nagat Manson so much that people do believe that people have seen it. But yet... Well, I imagine someone has seen your dick, Paddy. Maybe. No, they definitely, like I... Yeah, well, the no. guy that maybe fucking give me the first act of me seeing it. Yeah, yeah. I, I have four kids that say somebody's seen it. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, no, it's all under like a towel. <laughs> Never look no, at it directly. Saying, it's, it's like the it's, sun. It's like people have this thing where they go, oh, every comedian has seen it. I haven't. No, but a lot of people, a lot of comedians have seen it. Who have cons- like asked to see it, I assume. I don't know. You could be Lucy Cam people. I don't know. This is See thing. if you bring me down, career, because you've been Lucy K. I'll be fucking raging. Oh, what? What's that? Lucy K. What's Lucy? Oh, Lucy K. I was going. Who's fucking Lucy K? No, no, Lucy K. I, I, I thought you were saying Lucy K. I was going. Who the fuck's this bitch? You no, said no. somebody that's fucking got <laughs> fucking sexy and no, 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 no. If you get Lucy K, something Spanish. Doesn't Lucy it? K? Lucy K. Lucy K. Lucy K. It's just the way Protestants say it. <laughs> Lucy K. Speaking Sorry, of Protestants, how did Woodville go? <laughs> Woodville, so, if you don't know what Woodville is, it's basically, they're trying to do like East Belt, like like Protestant Fela. Yeah. So, I got told it was going to be like a couple of hundred to maybe a thousand people, and we get there, and it's in Woodville Park, massive park. It's a massive stage. It's like tenants final level. Behind me, there was like three screens with me on them. Uh-huh. Right? They were about... Did it say, here's Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> I'm not Winnie the Pooh in that right, story. Okay. I can't stress the... Right. But that's not me in that story. Okay. I would tell you if it was me. It'd be okay. funnier if it was me. Right. You know what I mean? But, and there was about 50 people there in Woodville. Right. In this massive... What, what happened? Because there was people saying they were going, like... Yeah. And I, I don't know. Some people did send me messages just being truthful, saying that, look, we're not going there because we wanted this and we wanted that. But that happens in Fela as well. Yeah. Like, you know, there's people send messages and go, I want a 1950s uh, bluegrass night. And people say, they're not going to have that because that's very selective. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. But it's... It was a lovely... What? I'll tell you what. It was a Hopefully lovely game. it's just the start of yeah. it for them. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully then it builds. Honestly, you know next mean? year, I'd love me and you to do it. Really put effort into it and like promote it, you know, like really build it up like we yeah. did Fela. We're, See we're if we did a thousand people. We are Daphne doing a gig in the Shangle in the Spectrum Centre. Yeah, you know what's Daphne yep. gonna happen? Um, um, but no, I, I just want to say to them because the Weeville people, fucking nicest in the world. I've well, like, treated us really what? nice. That's what I want to see. I want to see everywhere having them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because East Belfast started a festival and there's now. Uh, well, technically, Woodville is West Belfast, sort of part North Belfast, but it's good to have it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I did work in Woodville for a, a very few months, um, doing joining your work, like, and yeah. people were lovely in it. So yeah. It was great, it was great. Um, hopefully it does. At a ball, I hope it picks up, I hope it keeps going. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And we done Antrim. We did do Antrim, yes, we did. 
And it was weird because we'd done one room and then we went, we'd done one bar in Junction 1 and then we went across the road and done in another bar. Yeah. And we'll not speak about the whole night, don't be worried about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on, a later, on a later show. Maybe. Oh, aye, maybe. Maybe. Two years or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was good as well. It was like a comedy crowd as well. And a lot of people there are Mud Blood fans. Yeah, know? yeah. So it was great to see them coming out. And thank you all for coming out. And I was able to get a girl and fella to the gig there that had a bit of a hard time. And, and I got offered a table and I was able to give it to them and they had a great night. So. That's very nice, that's very nice. You're a lovely man, Patrick. Think so? Yeah, you are. You I are very nice. You're, you know, I didn't, you're a gaslighting bastard, but I you're a lovely man. I didn't want to do... Um, I didn't want to do that birthday shirt, but uh, oh yeah, he was really opposed. No, to it. I wanted the birthday no, shirt, and no. he was like, "We're too good for that." No, I didn't. What he I was stroking a wee chihuahua, we, what like I sunglasses was, on. We should be fucking charging for that a fiver because Wagner fucking charges. Car fucking, burns charges. Car burn charges. He's pulled out of his feet. Are oh, you were telling me? Why is he pulled out? Oh, he's fucking annoyed. I don't know. Um, I'm not going into the details of it, but just, <laughs> he, said, he tried to come to my work the other day. What do you mean? Like. Got to the door and was like, I'm mates with Polly, let me in. And they were like, no, can't let me in, COVID and all that. And he's like, I'm not COVID's bollocks in. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he rock up to your work? He was looking at me. I think he was annoyed. At so, you? No, no, I think he wanted to pitch a bit of people. Alright. Um, I'm not COVID's bollocks in. That was funny. That's fucking amazing. In. <laughs> she says I can't let you in because of COVID. And he says, I'm not COVID's fucking pancake face rubber, rubber nose COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and see, see the many times uh, when we're talking about people shouting out, I get kind of burn shouted at me all the time. Oh, so do I. I. So do I. To the, the point, day. people who don't know me now think I'm Connor Burns because they're just seeing people shout Connor so Burns. Not only at me. are you the Indian and the fucking monkey boy, you're Connor Burns as the well. The monkey boy. Ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it. fix rubber nose. Ding it, ding it, ding it. I remember doing the first time after we did that podcast, I was in limelight warming up for Shane and Dave, and someone started just going, Connor Burns, Connor Burns. I was like, what the fuck do you want me to do? I, I now have a bit because of it. Really? Yeah. I have a bit which is about Connor Burns. Bless us. For the thing. Bless us, we fucking sold. Uh, Speaking of shows, what, sold did, what did we only go and do this week, Patrick? Sold out. So like the fucking sold limelight out. one, and I swear to God, within five minutes of having put that up, can tickets. I not get tickets? That's Is there right. no extras yeah, released? I went on there and I couldn't get tickets to your show and I was like, yeah, they've only been on sale from fucking... March. March. They, that's the reason we started this. Yeah. Was for that show. Yeah. And then, and we were telling every week, go and get the tickets, go and get the tickets. Because it will sell out. Tickets. And now people say, oh for fuck's sake, I can't yeah. get the tickets. And I've had 25 messages of saying, look, you're the first person that pulls out. And I know, see if you want the 20 of them, yeah. they'll go, oh, fuck, no, it is. Uh, my granny's best friend's aunt's, uh, uncle's Jack Russell's fucking communions, aren't they? Yeah. And we can't go. Yeah. Can't make it that night, but let me know next time you're in oh, Cork Cross the Glen. I and have, like, never I, met. I have mates, like, genuinely still haven't went to see me doing stand up. So but send me messages going, here, Daphne, have to get to your next show. And oh, so like, Yeah. Do you know what oh, it that is? Old, that's just what it is for years. Yeah. Like, it's a, I've. People who be like still having came to see me. Fucking grim, like grim. Yeah. And I don't care. I don't. don't know, I'm just like you're missing out. A great at night. the start, I thought you should have had it where all your mates go and all that, right? But I have found that's not what you want. No, you want people who actually don't know you to come and want to see. I you. like a couple of my mates being there. I don't want all my mates at the show because they'll just start shouting stuff at you or like being yeah. fucking mental. And also, since we mentioned that, we forget the thing that we would do it in somebody's house. <laughs> I have people send me pictures of their houses. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> send us pictures of your wives, guys, and then I'll get back to you. you know, it's mostly <laughs> not the, doing that. She's most, It's mostly the wives that send them. I love that. Like a lot of, there's a lot of women watch this having a wee sip of wine. Is that, so is that be, why after the shows I've been, get, be, I've been getting some, some mm, women coming up to me? I think you're right. I can't. I think I, I'm a cute wee boy. They're all they're all like and will will I on? Because yeah. it's definitely not me. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> wow. Fuck six. There's like I've never had a spastic. Let's. <laughs> I've never had a big. I just put my fingers. I've never had, had a big fat, there. I've never had a big fat ginger fellow before. <laughs> <laughs> he has four kids and a fucking dog. Do you know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, uh, no! You, you do get a bit of a tantrum. Like, I, do, do. I do, I do. It's good um, for you. I like it. It's good. It's good for the ego. Do you know what I mean? I find now, like, because 
you know when you're single you're jumping through hoops I just hope you don't find some girl and then she stops you from doing this no it's like William do you know what it is no you're not doing mud blood no more never never Never. Never would that You say that. I You meet you, I don't, with you, the I, big lips and you'd be like... Mm. We've went over there how, you how cold you do, I am. You do. You like the birds with the big lips. I do. I like the, the Barbie dolls. Oh, fuck me. You really do. Like I really go for I, like the glitz and glam. You know what? I have friends of mine. Big tits like, and big hoes. Daughters coming up to me. And I have like no idea. And then they go, it's me! And you're like, who? Hey. And they're like, it's me, Bernie yeah. Alma. And yeah. you're going... Who the fuck's that? <laughs> and she's like, you know my fucking da? And I'm like, who's your da? And then the head. <laughs> you? And then you go, what the fuck? That did happen on Saturday night. I didn't think you were going to talk about that in the podcast. That did happen on fucking Saturday night. You met someone. It's fucking mad though. That is mad. This, I can't believe you've talked about that. No, podcast. I just mentioned it. Because it's fucking like constant night where you have people going, I ain't going to be mad. It's, it's like they want you to be their da. <laughs> yeah. I fucking told He's my dad go, go away, everyone. Here. I think you finger my man at a party in the New Lords once. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck stories is their mass telling their kids? Imagine just watching there this podcast. Like, like, He's been rest deep in me, so he has. Here. He treated me like a fucking puppet, that boy. Fuck the guy thought he was a Trump fellow, because they had fucking two homes. He was going at me like he dropped change down Fox the back of the sofa. He was... Do you ever see when you're trying to get the car seat? Yeah. You're trying to get Yeah, when you're in a body car. And you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, and you're trying to get something, and then you're in a breath, and then you take a seat. Why do you keep mentioning that? I can't help it. I can't. It's, it's like a refund. Your man got done. Did he? He's in court. Don't Justice. I shouldn't have done a white parcel out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I was going, fucking go ahead. Tommy Robinson. <laughs> there. You're still somebody chasing justice. Hey. That's their alpacas are on them. <laughs> what is it? Why is everyone nuts about an alpaca? <laughs> What's alp, alp, alp. <laughs> alp, 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 alp. Alpaca, alpaca, right? <laughs> Even the best looking one of them fucking looks like you know a mugshot from fucking South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking have the teeth, right? So there was these pictures getting put up, save Geronimo, right? And I was like, what the fuck says save Geronimo? And then there's this fucking black alpaca, I guess. <laughs> And they're all like, this beautiful animal, I'm going, well, fuck. This animal. It's fucking not nice looking. But they're like, they're fucking going to whack it because of disease and stuff like that, right? <laughs> so then they had this. There's a Joe Pesci. Like, they say, gotta whack this lamb. You motherfucker, you fucking. <laughs> Go get your fucking shine box. You no know, fucking come over here, you didn't pay your 15%, you fucking out the pelka cunt. <laughs> what am I, fucking clown? Out the pelka. They were like, they were, there was going to be, there was going to be like 200,000 people stopping them from killing this, right? And I watched the video and I was like, this is going to be mental. How are they going to get through 200,000 people who are going to be there to save the animal? And there was 10 fucking people there. And the, the, the Peters just sort of fucking walked through them, you know? Just but looked the, at them all, the just shot at the head. No, they fucking chased it about the field with a rope. Right, and then fucking it was making all sorts of noises. Once they caught it with the rope, they wrapped the rope around it, and then they, they, they walked it out on a lead, you know. And I was just like, it'd be brilliant to have it over, like, grace. You no, know, it's gone. I did fuck all, yeah, I right. didn't fucking execute it <laughs> for something I did not do it all, right? So, it to me, then I was like, fuck the whole thing, and then I went, fuck it, and I stuck its picture because it says, Police have now confirmed that he's been executed, and I was like, bastards. Bastards, get him up in the fucking wall because the wee dog fucking thing came. The wee chat, yeah. Yeah, the story they tell about the dog mirror. So I put a picture of it on like the wall in the shackle. I was just like, let's forget so, your animals. And people were sending messages going, what the fuck is that about? So it wasn't as big a story as I thought it was. Just going. sometimes. It wasn't like, what do you call that fucking monkey? They could, yeah. Harambe. I like it Rest wasn't in like peace, that. my bro, Harambe. The world got worse since Harambe's been shot. That's just a fact. Since mm-hmm. he since he got shot, the world became a worse place. Why did That's he get shot? Because like a six year old that jumped in and he killed it, it jumped into the enclosure. Did he kill the kid? He, he no, but they were afraid he was going to. So they shot it. So they shot it. 
Yeah, he was going, what the fuck, won't you damn milk the pot, uh, bastards? Yeah. <laughs> her ugly looking cunt, I'm a beautiful yeah. fucking animal. He went there with a six year old, he was I'm like, can you not see the barbed wire around the enclosure? That's why you don't fuck. get it. <laughs> By the way, I, the amount of messages I got being like, people from West Belfast do call it barbed wire, and I'm like, fair enough, you're all wrong, man. Do you remember you called it barbed wire and I made it's called barbed wire. It's not called barbed wire. You may call it barbed wire. That's just a city of people calling it wrong. It's barbed wire. Is it a creamy dam? Do you call it a creamy dam? What's a creamy Or dam? a cream finger. A cream finger? What's a creamy dam? There you go. What's a creamy So dam? who's right and who's wrong? No, but it's literally... Barbed wire. Right. You can't buy barbed wire anywhere. You can't. No, you can't. It will not be listed under barbed wire. You can't buy barbed wire. You cannot buy We're not having this argument. I, this is like fucking... <laughs> go and get me a bottle I've, of steam, you mad cunt. I've been I mean? tortured about this. And because you're fucking wrong. It's not barbed But I'm not even getting in there. <laughs> I have a tattoo in my arm. It's fucking barbed wire. Your, your arm's bleeding. Is it? Shit. That was his cat. Fuck me, what did it get you with a knife? It, it's vicious, look at it, it's fucking, look at the scrub marks. No, no, because you're bleeding from the arm. I love how I caught you, I just went, yeah, you're bleeding. You're like, oh, was it? <laughs> Didn't even realise. I was bleeding. Do you want to do some questions? What's, what time are we at? 50 minutes in. I always think it's 10 past 10 in here and it's fucking 10 past 10 all the time. <laughs> I noticed that. Um, Jay Lava wants to know is Paddy still taxing I assume he means taxiing no no that's the other thing too people think I have like a taxi I know and I'm like no I don't have a taxi no more and they're like why and you did like, have one though that's no I did yeah yeah or maybe is he looking having to do his books one yeah are you taxing. still doing taxes or am I like the mafia and going you get fucking 2% <laughs> that I believe you doing that Neil Cummings says, love the podcast, guys. Be better if it was a bit ro- longer, Joe Rogan style. We like to leave you wanting more. We, we do enjoy doing that. Why how long is Joe Rogan's? I don't watch Three it. and a half hours. Holy uh, fuck. Yeah, no. And how many days a week is that on? Three or four. Holy fuck. But he's getting like Dave Chappelle in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could talk to fucking Ricky Gervais well, for four We could get hours. Dave Elliott in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, we get Dave Chappelle, we get Dave Elliott. Yeah, fucking just no one better. Him. Dave Will come Dave, in black Dave Elliott looks like fucking Ice Cube. <laughs> Only the East Belfast, right? He fucking does too. He, he does. actually does. Um, if you both had kids and two started dating, what married? What what religion would they be married in? What? Does so it if mean? we had kids and our kids started dating, not like kids together so if right. I had kids one of my kids started dating like say I had a daughter and Patrick started going out with her right right. what religion would they be I can't give a into? fuck what religion they Islam is yeah. just through a real curveball not a fuck classic no I, I wouldn't give a fuck I don't need religion nah I'm, I'm raising my kids moving them and I've no idea about it either it's just going to be really confusing <laughs> it's not you do you, you're going for the Hezbollah um, Kiki Winker Kiki Kiki Winker is this girl's name? Kiki Winker. Phone off and sip up, good man. I assume that's to you. Yeah. Put your dick away. Right, okay. <laughs> um, next one. Not a question, but I can't believe you said Mainland UK on the last podcast for fuck's sake, Paddy. I would say Mainland UK. I uh, know, but the Catholics course. aren't meant to say it. Why? Because we aren't part of the UK, you see. All right. Um. <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I throw shit in yeah. to annoy people. Yeah. I told somebody the other day that I was playing for the Northern Ireland Comedians team. And uh-huh. he just says, that doesn't exist. Fuck and I went, right. I says, what doesn't exist? And he was like, that that word did you say? It? And I, I love they won't say it like it's Voldemort. And I was like, <laughs> it does because I was playing with them. Yeah. And he was like, so you the exact same with me. The way you'll be like, you'll rake me about things and be like, oh, Northern Ireland's not this or it doesn't exist. But when you're around like a really hardline Republican, will you be a wee bastard to them and go the other way? No, Just I'm, to wind them I'm up? full on whistling the wolf tones and fucking <laughs> saluting them and all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look in your face when you got into my car and I was playing Tear Up the Rebels. Yeah. <laughs> he was so shot. Um, 
Kieran Barris, who do you think will win the Champions League? Fuck me, it's only started. PSG, City, They're not going to win it. PSG's not going to win it. No, they probably won't, but who do you expect to? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think, on paper. I think, well, on paper, you would say PSG. Yeah. But in the same sense, I think it's going to be outside the box this year. Really? Yeah. Just because the way football has went, and then the fans are back in again. Yeah. I think a wee team would be closer in it or something. Weirdly, though, that's worked the other way against Rangers. Fans have came back and they've started playing worse, although not last Sunday. But they started playing worse than they yeah. did before they were in. Yeah. So it's weird. weird but they were never going to keep that momentum. Well, no, absolutely not. Do you know what I mean? No. no. Um, Connor Gribben, what food would you eat in a food eating competition? Crisps. Whatever fucking food the food eating competition's food was. <laughs> oh, like if if you were going to a food eating competition and they were like, right, what food do you want to pick? I would go grains of rice. Really. Because they're fucking tiny and small. And yeah, but you have to eat loads food. of them. Isn't that what that's about winning, Nick? Like? Yeah, but you could it, also would it get not like be a, better to a really eat, big burger. Would it not be better to eat four bowls of rice instead of fucking 179 fucking hot dogs? Well, depend. You could have to end up eating 180 I mean? bowls of rice. Um, 50 packets of Snackerjacks or something. Snackerjacks are fucking powerful. Any man. stories about Mossy? <laughs> Who fucks Mossy? Mossy was Chris Moss on Senko. Who done my stage? Right. So Mossy is a friend of mine. I have very, I have loads of stories about Mossy. Even on that day, I'm not Is he? Is he a little bit of a character? No, he's not even. No. Mossy was good footballer, big lad, but oh, a good right. footballer. Like, but no, just random stories about have like because he was a mate of mine, run about me, but it get me and him both in trouble. Jamie Patton is Grace a Catholic song, despite it being about us prod. No, I don't know. It's not, it's not really, but like only but Republican is isn't it. isn't the Catholic thing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's told. what he means. Yeah, I think that he, that's he, what he so means he wants by us, Catholic. So he wants us to talk about that because, like, is Penny Arcade really much of a Protestant? No, but it's think, not really. I think, but I think that was up to debate. Wolf Tone, who's probably seen as the fucking yeah, I know, but he was a Protestant himself. I know. Yeah, yeah. So the Presbyterians fought against the English to start yeah. off with. Yeah. So the prods technically fucking started everything. Oh, oh. So the prods that came here from, took the land, the, and the then the pods answer. that was here didn't like what the prods that came from England done. So they, but they weren't that many, so they got the Catholics to favour them, and then they just went just blaming the Catholics. No, but genuinely, what they done was they made it a fucking religious warrior. Yeah, yeah. Because it suited them. It's good to know that they didn't stick though, and we got over it. Um. Oh, Leo the Leprechaun wants to know all time best comedian TV shows or stand up if you're going TV shows I'd say Ricky Gervais but with stand up I don't love him I actually prefer some of his stand up than I do his shows yeah, yeah. really yeah Yeah. I think his, his stand up's pretty good like. I think it's okay like, I like it I like it but sometimes you go I fucking don't like him he has that thing about him where people go I don't like Ricky Gervais but then they see something and they just stand up yeah. and they're like oh, no. so see, Extras is one of my favourite shows ever his shows are great don't yeah. get me wrong I'm not Apart saying Derek, like, Derek I wouldn't I, I, I never really do you know I didn't get too much into them to be yeah. honest but I could watch them yeah um, but yeah, like the stand up. But in terms of like, see, people ask you all the time, who's your favorite comedian? Who's it? Who do you look up to? Yeah, the, the ones we really, it. really like. It just chops and changes, and most people won't. Re- they're not for me anyway. They're not like big mainstream names. Tom Stead, I think, is like the rock and roll I star. He's like Tom the Stead. rock and roll star of yeah. comedy. Yeah, he's a dying breed, is Tom Stead. Like he's like a fucking a, man. He has a fucking horsey foot. He dresses, like, he, he, you know, go look and fella and whatever. Yeah. And he dresses cool, and you know, obviously, because I spent, but it wasn't just, I actually like his stand up. I like yeah. his whole. I don't think there's too many like him. Yeah. Do you know it that way? He's very memorable. I haven't seen him in years, but I can still remember. But in the same sense, I have seen Jim Moan make a whole fucking theatre fucking laugh by moving his eyebrow, which is fucking talent. Oh, he's great. Jim Moan's great as well. Like, move a fucking eyebrow, and people fucking laugh. It's It's. You know, and then Mike you know Wilmot. The <laughs> Mike Wilmot. I don't even know who that is. Mike Wilmot and Rich Hall are. Rich Hall's this, this is a bit that don't. Fucking Rich Hall's joke that he done in Ireland was amazing. 
I was in Ireland doing a gig and he says the headline in the newspaper was Cork Man Drowns. How is that even possible? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking like that's, that's some silly see thing. a fucking thing and like bang, fuck me, like how's that even possible? It's it's adding that one bit to that that makes that funny as fuck. I'd love to see him live. Well him, Rich Hall, he turned up the pavilion. That's right, he was at the Rich Hall and ones. Mike Wilmot. I gig with Mike Wilmot in the Queen Student Union. And I used to there and he talks like this here. And then I went on to watch him and I was like, fucking hell, he's fucking brilliant, mate. Seen him a couple of times. Seen him one night stand with Paddy Keighley in the Upper House. Wasn't that great that night. Absolutely fucking drunk as fuck. And picked on a family at the front. And they were like father, son... Mother. Mother and fucking granny. And he like made it out that they were having this mad sex thing and it didn't go down too good. <laughs> but him and Ritual, what I was trying to tell is was Mo in The Simpsons. It's based on Ritual. It's based on Rich Hall's looks. Yeah. But the voice is based on Mike Roma. Oh. Was it? Yes. Because I, I always thought it was uh, a bad Al Pacino impression. No. no. The, the, the voice is based on Meg Walmart, his mannerisms, but his looks was on Rich Hall. Rich Hall, yeah, I knew that. Because Rich Hall does that when he comes out. So. Is that Hank No, she no. Does, we, it does Mo. Yeah, yeah, that's who does Mo, but Rich Hall comes out and does, he's like, God, oh, I look like fucking. Um, Mo says, look. How are you feeling about the Ronaldo United situation, Dak, if you're into Prem oh, football? Did we? Did we? Yeah. yeah, might the fucking money's on half a fucking million a week, five hundred thousand. And apparently he took a pay cut or something from the United. Fuck me, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what he'll do. You're Mount Rushmore of Northern Ireland comedy. Oh, so you're top four, excluding us. We can't put each other on it. Who's your top four? So is that four people that you would put on? Yeah. Of Northern Irish comedians. Yeah. I'll put Paddy Raff and Shane Todd together. And then... I you're a wee... Put, you're a wee nuisance. You are, aren't you? Put, you're up to no what? good. You're a wee... T- you know... You know I, what you're I'm doing. I'm thinking of it on the mountain. <laughs> so if we're done in Cave Hill, right, we would have Shane and... Uh, Shane and, and Paddy Raff in the middle, right, beside They're each other. together, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And then we'd have Colin Gaddis looking over to Newt Nowy because... Yeah. And, and uh, like a standalone because I think... Collins uh-huh. on us he's bigger than everybody yeah and then just round the corner looking in the West Belfast would have Marty Bartlett yeah yeah fair so I'm sorry, who would I go top four ever I would have McGarry on man well I was leaving out them fucking guys like no no I'm talking because you could have you could have like Mary McFadridge and Mary McFadridge is for sure um, I wouldn't be more inclined to do one of the people that we don't gig with yeah. Do you know what I mean? The previous. I would have probably Murph, McGarry, Mary McFetridge. And Frank Carson. I was going to say Kilty, and not even that I'm a big fan of Kilty, but what he did, like, he was the fucking comedian from here for so long. Like, he was massive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just well, share bananas too. Um, what's What's the next that? question? <laughs> <laughs> We're so catty today. <laughs> what's going to. Who's going to win the Sam McGuire Horn Tyrone? No idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is that Ga? Uh, yeah. What is this, Sam McGuire? Sam. Sam McGuire. It's a cup. Right. It's, like, it's the, the All Ireland. It's the football. All Ireland. Cup. All right. How do you? Is it like all the leagues? No, all the all the counties. Right. Okay. It's Thirty-two um, counties in Ireland. Mm-hmm. So. They, they, so the what's twenty-six time? plus six? I I know there's thirty-two counties in Ireland. What's twenty-six plus six? It's, what's it equal? One. Very good. You're learning. <laughs> I'm going to get shot and this is what they're going to play. Ian me. Thompson Comics says, can you walk normally yet? No, mate. I'm I still, never will. People call me Kaiser Soze in work. Because <laughs> one day I didn't have a limp and then I come in this week and I have a limp. Do you know what I mean? I literally had to, like, Jordy Robinson had to help me get changed after the match because I was just so stiff. I was like, just take my shirt off me. And that was after he showed him his balls. I yeah. like... Something yeah. going on there, Soros. Yeah, yeah we're, yeah, we're fucking. We need to fucking poo there. We're fucking. Um, 
So John Max says, what happened to Celtic winning 3-1? Uh, <laughs> this is why I don't win money. <laughs> Bet <Yeah>. football. Because <laughs> okay, well, you're bad for Celtic to win, of course you're never going to win money. Um, would you take a cheesy Hitler off Connor Burns? For <laughs> United? I didn't know what a cheesy Hitler was. Do you want to tell the nice people what a cheesy Hitler is? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Cheesy Hitler. It's disgusting. It is, yeah. Even for <laughs> Nell McCarthy, then like, see Nell McCarthy. I w- do. You have fucking children. Fucking be bars for yourself. <laughs> you have kids. I bet they're ashamed of you. Um, <laughs> my ma gave me a cheesy. Cleo Fitzpatrick says, dead. "Will you give John Kelly from Turf a shoutout? Watches and paces himself every week. Go ahead, John Kelly. Stop pacing yourself." Keep pissing yourself, they'll give you a free car eventually. Stop. Oh, well, maybe he's <laughs> out chasing the DLA. <laughs> Who's a better dancer, you or William? You. Well, you. I don't have the... I don't have Do you mo- not have moves? No? I can't really dance. I can dance like fuck. I don't have no mobility. I can't for. dance like fuck. I could probably sing better than you. I've always had the moves. Um, can't dance. Do you remember the wizard from back in the 90s in the network? He did a late show. Yes, I do remember that. And it used to freak the fuck out of me because I was always fucking... What is it? It was a guy who used to come in and do like fucking allu- illusions in nightclubs where people were taking fucking drugs. <laughs> and I genuinely do? didn't say anything to my There's mates. There's your wallet now, I it's gone. I didn't say anything to my mates for weeks because I was like, I don't know if they've seen that too. And then somebody says to me, oh, your man's a fucking name. Did you see that? I thought it was just me imagining some cunt taking his head off on stage. He literally would take his head. He would do all these illusions. Oh, and like pass it through his arms. And oh, stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I wish I could see that. It sounds class. Um, uh, Jim Murphy, favourite wrestling match you remember watching? Favourite wrestling match? Fuck, that's a big question for me. Royal oh, Rumble, 1995. Last one. That's a good one. Ric Flair's last one. Yeah. It is good. 2001 Royal Rumble for me. That's my favourite match ever. David Lynch, um, my cousin, he said, did you ever see your, did you ever hear your man dad bugging? And I came out and said about his man dad bugging. So he's just sat back, no, you're not getting the question because you're a tout. <laughs> um, Sean said, can uh, can you see United at Ireland happening? Um, realistically, it will at some stage. It will at some stage. Don't worry, boys. Don't worry. I'll be out. <laughs> um, any good You've got sto- the TUV being the most popular party. Any good It's sto- not going to happen without a fucking fight. <laughs> they're not going to get that big. No, they won't. It's just a protest thing at the minute. But they'll, I think they'll definitely take some seats. Oh, uh, yeah. But it, it, the, the, the Protestants won't divide the vote because they don't want Sinn Féin to be the biggest party. I know. Even though it is the biggest party. So if you ever watch the thing... They're going to keep voting for them, even though they fucking know they're yeah. making concert of fucking ordinary working class Protestant people, because they're scared of Sinn Féin getting the biggest vote. Yeah. So that's why it won't evade. Does the DUP know what? I think the DUP are getting chipped away out slowly. The, I don't I, know. I can There's see. nobody else coming through. TUV see. and UUP have both gained. Yeah. Over the, I'm not saying they'll overthrow them, but they'll definitely split them. I think. Any good stories from Saturday nights in the arena? Fucking too many. I've never been there. Too many. Actually, somebody put up a video of it, like derelict. Yes. And you could see all the levels and stuff. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, a boot in the balls or a good attack? Good attack, one hundred percent. Yeah, guys, no laughing. And I've matter. paid two hundred quid to get a boot in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> From me. So that Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't stress you that Winnie the Pooh. I know you don't believe me. It's not me. We're like I'm overly convinced that you. It's not the strange thing about it is my dog actually, its favorite thing to hump, is a Winnie the Pooh. Teddy bear. Are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to put in a good word for your? It, dog? it is. It's it's just weird that you said we'll call him Winnie the Pooh, and Winnie the Pooh gets fucking tanked every night in my house by the fucking Jago fella. <laughs> Well, that's that's all I have for because I I didn't I only put it I up only late. put it up late as I was sitting in fucking. Felbert Street. Um, lads, please arrange a comedian's boxing match. We need to see William v. Todd and Paddy v. Connor Key. I think I get, get asked. I get asked this once a podcast, and I can't stress enough. I will never be medically cleared to box. It will not happen. I can't take punches to the head. I will never be cleared. That's to all because we he says we would get Connor Burns to fit you. I know. 
I know, I'd, I'd take him, no fucking worry. I'll fight him like Rocky Five in the street. Worst food your mad would make you finish off your plate before you could leave the table? Soup. Soup was always that my mom I'm actually made an awful soup. I'm actually fucking in shock that your mom gave you soup on a plate. We were a very poor family, but in the I was going to say, Protestants were really like. Yeah. It's like fucking Charlie. That's why I hate he couldn't get him. It's just falling all over the place. Like Jews, they give you a fork with your soup. Yeah. Have you got a date for the Mudblub merch yet? No, Paul. But we will get something sorted. Yeah. Here we go. Did the Mushrooms guy ever go, have a go at you for telling the story with Shane? Uh, doesn't speak to me no more. Because of that? Yeah. What? Yeah. I'll ask you about this off camera. Genuinely told me not to do the story and, and stand you, up. And you did. And I, well, I didn't do it in stand up. I told the story on a podcast. And stuff and <laughs> you know it. what he meant when he said that. No, I didn't. <laughs> He's a fucking chancer. <laughs> um, how much do you reckon Nolan spends on Tito, beef, and onion in a week? More than my morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite yeah. a bit. I would say he's in this fucking crisps. Maybe not so much. He's, he's definitely in this beef. He's de- <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. That was like a party one there. Do you think so? Do you think he prefer the beef? Do you think he like beef? I don't know. I think he may be in there a wee bit of prawn cocktail himself. Maybe. You know? Maybe. Maybe he's in a cheesy Hitler. I like he, I, you know, there's nothing worse than fucking eating prawn, like two fingers in the prawn cocktail yeah. packet yeah. and then rubbing your eye. Uh, oh, that's worse. <laughs> right. Do you, ever, do you ever pick your nose after eating a pile of prawn cocktail and you can smell the fish? Yeah. 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 Do you ever eat a bag of prawn cocktail and the mom fucks your ass? <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. Uh, so <laughs> You're editing that out, aren't you? He, edit, he can edit it, yeah. I don't want it out. Leave it in. Do you want it in? Well, that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> What if your mummy finds it? Oh, we stopped at it and these long ago, didn't yeah. we? Well, that's good. We kind of just went, fuck it. Like, there was so much shit last week, it could have been digging it. Now it's not. I, I look for it for a bit. I don't know. There's too much in it. Wait, people like it. There we go. Michael Skillen says, no question, just want to say you were both class in Antrim last week. Thank you very much, mate. Thank yeah. you. His Thanks wife was called Antrim. She's a lovely girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Antrim. Antrim's a nice city. Um, it's not a silly our town you, you know what I meant I don't place it's a good place village city local Antrim community city. Antrim town Antrim in Antrim town fuck me where, 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 where? Um, let me see just before we fucking quit quit the shit are you getting the donut kebab in it are you nah I'm feeling the Chinese I need to start eating better but I'm feeling Chinese, Chinese. You started eating rough again, have you? Just the last few days, man. Right. I had a, I've had a McDonald's in the subway, but I'm feeling the Chinese. Yeah? Yeah. You like a few Chinese? Yeah. I'll do that, though, do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll eat well for ages, and then I have a couple of days, I let myself go a bit mad. But yeah, as long as you rein yourself out, or you watch it, you watch that I, daily. What? No, <laughs> that I, I literally was going through the questions, and this guy, look, fucking sent it, and I clicked into it, and it was the fucking TikTok story for that. Wife to be and girlfriend. Best hangover here. All like a wank. This needs to go out there. Probably gonna stop us getting them a sponsorship later on. A fucking nice Coke or a Fanta back in the day when they were able to put proper fucking sugar in the fucking juice. Okay, be that, yeah. Right? Okay, or Lucas Eight. Lucas Eight, Fanta, all that shit does not taste the way it used to. Oh, it's stinking though. It's fucking rank. Fanta was fucking amazing. Fanta, 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 give us me Fanta, Fanta, Fanta lemons bog in my too. Well, I never really was a fan of that. No, I'm a big But the, the Fanta yeah. orange, I was like, man, that used to be fucking great. So see, like a Fanta and a like a Fanta and a Chinese or a big yeah. bottle of Lucas yeah. and a fry. That was a fucking cure yeah. back in the day. That's good. That is good. Now it's literally like my hangovers. If I get one, it's like fucking give me morphine. Yeah, I always got bad hangovers. And do you know what? They get worse at like three o'clock in the day. 
Yeah. So like first thing in the morning it's not that bad. You get up with the kids and you're like, do you know what? I feel a wee bit bad and I've got a wee bit of heartburn and I've got dry mouth and stuff. So when you get to three o'clock, you're like, somebody needs to hug me right now. Yeah, it's, yeah I get so depressed. Like I have phoned some Martins. I have phoned some Martins with a bad hangover. <laughs> What's the matter, bro? I just had a bottle of Morgan's and fuck. <laughs> Mate, I had a rough one last night and it's just getting to the stage here where it's just like, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the house. And really? Like, really? Are you okay? Whereabouts are you now? No, I'm literally in the front gate, but I'm fucking not feeling here, mid at all. Like, I just need to ring somebody and have a yarn. I can't talk to her because she'll fucking slobber about me being out last night and not getting home till three o'clock in the morning, so I just thought I'd ring you. <laughs> Because I know you're not going to judge me. You win, no, I'm right. supposed to win ring me. What? Huh? Would you not win me? It's just before New Year. I'm talking oh, about. Man, I thought you did this yesterday. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you ring the Samaritans like, mate, am I hangover? It's fucking bad here. I don't think this is really what you need. Well, you really need to fucking sort something out. Phone <laughs> Samaritans with a hangover. That's the, that's the title of this episode. Samaritans hangover help me. <laughs> uh, is that everything? With nothing really to plug? Just the light. Just plug the light in, the charger for the phone. Yeah. Um, no, we have nothing. No, I mean, we are going to have other gigs. Mudblood. Um, yeah, the Mudblood's sold. Well, yes. that tour, when that tour is announced, we'll, we'll talk about that. Yes, but that um, will be happening. Yeah. Get in your... Do you know what? This is the best format for it. Yeah. Where do you want us to go and play? Yeah, where do you want those messages? I will say I'm doing the BBC New Comedy Awards mm. next Sunday in Limelight too. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, we take it for that. Come support me and help me Do win. you need me to get you like a student ID or anything for it? Nah, no, nah, we're all good. No? Okay. Get me a fake vaccine passport, we'll be out. Right. What? Get me a fake vaccine passport. You may hope they don't find out you've done the Woodfield to 50 people last week. Why? Well, you won't get in there. <laughs> Can't no. edit this, the fuck. <laughs> um, Give suggestions for the month of March and... Yeah, what would you like? Would you just like People cuts? want the, the show logo. As a poster. People just want posters of them. I've had a few right, people okay. Um Yeah, well, we'll definitely get merch out. Would, would people wear t-shirts? Let us know. Would they wear hats? Thongs? My blood thongs? I'd... Maybe. I'm just shooting ideas out. Bikinis? Who do you think you are? Don fucking Blitzen? That, was that one of Santa's reindeer? Ah, oh, it's one of his mates. <laughs> do you not know who Don Blitzen is? Or do you mean Don Belzerian? Dan Blitzen Who's Dan Blitzen? He's like Dan Blitzerian's fucking cousin from Turf Lodge Is it actually a person or have you said Dan Blitzerian right? right. <laughs> Just <laughs> Our Podrick was on Instagram right a couple of years ago mm-hmm. and Andrew went into his Instagram and he had been messaging the models that run up out with him <laughs> and he was getting responses like you're going oh my god you're so cute and all this here right so <laughs> yeah Sure, sure. Andrew was like, <laughs> Andrew was like, get your tits out, look man. He's looking at you. So I went, you know, I went to school with him, and he went, what? And I went, I went to school with him. His name's Dan Blitzen, but he changed his name so people don't know he's from here. And he's like, what? And I was like, yeah, I went to school with him. And he says, and he got famous, and then he took off and he done this whole thing, and he was like, no way. And I had him believing it, right? And then I forgot to tell him. That it wasn't true. <laughs> You're a dickhead. So he went in the school and was like, my dad went to school with him. And they were like, what are you talking about? He was like, yeah, he went to CBS and the Glen Road. He was from fucking Turf. <laughs> He's from Turf Laws. He comes from a long line of Blitzen's from Turf Laws. He changed his fucking name and all and fucking whatever. He doesn't want people to know he's from you. And his mates were like, your dad's making a content. <laughs> Exactly. He's like, fuck you. I had him convinced that Don Blitzen was from Turf Lodge. I know what <laughs> he's you imagine him in Turf Lodge, like standing at the pedal station with a big fucking <laughs> transit pickup, all these birds <laughs> with things on the back? I'm just going down to see my man. <laughs> <laughs> Give her some of this energy drink. He doesn't have a big yacht in Miami, he just has a fucking caravan in Port Rush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that everything for this week? Then? I think so. Thank you all for listening, and we'll see you next week. Mwah. See you later. Bye. Come on, keep close.
Come on, get close.